Okay, so we've got this done now. All right, and then to make our little snowman here, we're actually just going to use circle punches. So we're going to go ahead and punch out a three quarter inch circle, a one inch circle, and a one and a quarter inch circle. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And again, we're just going to use the Whisper White cardstock. So there's the three quarter inch, a one inch, and a one and a quarter inch. And then we're going to go ahead and sponge this on the edges as well with the Baja Breeze. Again, just giving this a little bit more dimension and lifting it off the paper just, just makes it a lot more fun to look at. There we go. Okay, and we're going to start building our snowman here. We're going to go ahead and put that bottom piece on, and I'm going to actually be using dimensionals for this, which are the pop-up adhesive. So we'll go ahead and put a piece on the, the large circle, and that'll be the base of our snowman. Okay. And then the center one, we're not going to adhere just yet, because what we're going to do is we're going to cut out his little arms. And what we're going to use is we're actually going to use the snowflake punch. So we're going to use chocolate chip, the color chocolate chip cardstock. We're going to go ahead and punch out our snowflake. All right. And what we're going to use for this actually is two of these little pieces of the snowflake. So we're going to go ahead and cut those off of the snowflake. And then to make it look like branches, we're just going to take off a couple little tiny pieces of this. And these will actually be our arms for our snowman. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. And I'm doing the opposite side. So I'm taking off a small one and a large one. Or you can leave them all on. Because branches in nature, you know, they all look different. So we're going to go ahead and put those on. And we're just going to use snail to attach those. All righty. And then we're going to go ahead and put our center um, circle on for our little snowman's body. And this is the uh, three-quarter inch, or the one-inch circle, excuse me. And we're going to go ahead and use a dimensional for that as well. And then we'll go ahead and attach the very last one, the three-quarter inch one. And there's this little head. All right. Now to get his little face on there, I just used um, some Stampin' Up! markers. And we'll go ahead and put some little eyes on him. And we'll do a little mouth. He looks a little sad today. And then we're going to use the pumpkin pie uh, Stampin' Up! marker. And we're going to go ahead and make a little nose for him. And there's your little carrot nose. Okay, so there's the little snowman. And then to jazz them up just a little bit more, we're going to put some rhinestone buttons on them. And these are from the Basic Pearls collection. And we're going to go ahead and stick a couple of those on him. He's a very fancy little, little snowman. So there's your little snowman, and he's all finished. So now we're just, all we have to do is decorate the outside of our card now. So what we're going to use for this is we're just going to put this little saying on here, let it snow. And we'll go ahead and get that stamped out. And that what we're using for that is we're using the stamp from the Punch Pals. And it has all these different sayings on here. So we only want let it snow. So the one that we're going to be using, um, and we're going to be using... Um, Another stamp and write marker, and this time we're going to use um, Old Olive. So on Let It Snow, we're just going to take the stamp and write marker. And what's neat about these is one side's real skinny and tiny and a fine line, and the other side's more like a brush stroke. So we're going to go ahead and use the brush stroke and just go across Let It Snow. 
and we're going to make make sure that it gets nice and wet. And then we're going to go ahead and stamp this onto a, another piece of white cardstock. And there's your little saying, let it snow. And we're going to go ahead and punch that out using another punch this time. which is the word window punch. I'm going to go ahead and line that up in there. Alrighty. And then for the outer part of this, we're going to jazz that up a little bit as well. We're going to go ahead and use punch label punch. And we're using um, the pretty in pink for the background. And we'll just go ahead and adhere those two pieces together. There we go. And now this can be placed on the card. So now this is the front of the card. Sorry, I'm doing this backwards, so sometimes it gets a little crazy. And we're going to go ahead and adhere that saying right on there. So we'll go ahead and do that so that it looks like this. Okay, so it's going to get adhered right here. And then I also added some crochet lace trim. And all I did was I just simply tied that around. And I tied that around the outside of the car. And then we just used a little bit of trim from our tinsel garland. Just took a little piece of this, which is really cute. I love this little tinsel garland. And it's wired too, so you can put it in any direction. And we just went ahead and, and I just tied it on to there, just kind of gave it a little bit of an, a tie. So that's all that is to it. It's really, really pretty simple. The hardest part of this card basically is just making those cuts in the card. Once you do that, you can decorate it any way you wish, and it's just the most adorable little card, and people will just love it. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you have any questions on the sizes, um, just follow my blog spot and I'll have them all listed on there for you as well. Thanks so much. Have a great day, Stampers.